Hey fellas, uh, this is Josh 8 Loop, and um, what you see before you is an 8 foot styrofoam loop that is in uh, four sections. It's uh, 8 inches, um, eight inches uh, wide, I guess, uh, around the perimeter here. And uh, from this angle here, it's 4 inches deep. And uh, you can see the arrows that were left from the manufacturing process and so forth. Um, a lot of you may or may not be wondering why I chose the name Josh 8 Loop. And uh, the reason is uh, when I uh, uh, basically created a uh, crystal radio that was 8 foot in diameter. And it was a loop radio. And uh, so that's uh, why I went ahead and adopted the name Josh 8 Loop. And uh, since um, we moved down to Florida, I had to disassemble that old 8-foot uh, um, octagonal loop. And uh, it was wound with 18-gauge wire. I had to disassemble that, uh, you know, so that we could move a lot easier. And the intent was to go ahead and recreate it, um, but the next time much, much better, using much better wire, um, like the uh, Litz wire and so forth, and low-loss um, frame material, and preferably round. And so recently I found a company, Architectural, I'm trying to remember, it's an architectural company that does uh, styrofoam, and um, they have uh, CNC type machines that uh, cut styrofoam just like you see here, and you call them up and tell them what you want. And basically for uh, about $100 they made what you see before you. And again, it's in four sections, and so eventually this will be turned into a uh, loop crystal radio that's obviously eight foot in diameter. So it's got a very large aperture, and the good thing is the uh, styrofoam has a low dielectric loss property. And so this is the beginning of a eight foot loop crystal radio, and so I'm going to go ahead and document that on YouTube. So uh, hopefully uh, every once in a while I'll make a little progress and make a video and post that so you guys can... Uh, you know, keep track of uh, what's going on, and, and eventually this thing will be wound with some Litz wire and some real high quality variable capacitors. It will be double tuned. Uh, the outside wire and capacitor will be a tuned tank, which also also functions as an eight foot diameter antenna. And uh, I'll also have a secondary circuit, which is the detector, and that will be inductively coupled to the main loop and uh, that will uh, fine-tune everything. Um, so this, this uh, set will require no external antenna or ground um, that will be able to be used, um, you know, whether it's stormy outside in Florida here or not. Uh, it'll be virtually immune to, uh, you know, to lightning and so forth. Obviously, you don't want to uh, tote this outside and use it in a storm, but if you're indoors, you know, you could certainly listen to this. I've done that a number of times with the old unit. And uh, anyway, I'm looking forward to this. Um, it's going to be a lot better materials and uh, nice and round, so it should have a real good uh, figure eight reception pattern if all goes well. So I'll let you guys know uh, as I progress, and uh, I'll show you the details. All right, talk to you guys soon. Bye.